going to own gas, so today I just ordered some truck parts. What? You ordered truck parts? Nah, 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 nah. What are you doing? Nothing. What is going on, guys? Ghost here, and today um, we're back working on the Razor. Now I didn't get to actually touch it any over the weekend after the last uh, after the last vlog was posted. I didn't get to touch it or anything. Um, just got really busy and everything. But we are going to go ahead and put the bed and everything on it. I got the old everything, of course, and I just got to change it, and we'll be good to go. We can actually ride and everything. But first, we're we'll actually we got to do a couple things today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bulb out. Simple. Um, and that almost looks like one of my bulbs from my signal light, uh, like in my Dodge. All right, so I got this. All right, so I got the bulb and everything, and we are going to get ready and head. Um, out, uh, down the road, uh, we'll go to a Vance or something and get the bulb. And I gotta head up to Hobby Lobby and everything. I don't know if uh, anybody ever does this, but I actually bought like it was, a, I think it's a 112 scale model car. It's been forever since I actually did model cars. I used to do it when I was a kid and everything. And I bought some, go up to Hobby Lobby, and I gotta get some uh, paint and stuff for it too. So it's just good, just kicking back and just building model cars every now and then. Um, but let's get ready and hit the road. So I did order some parts for my truck um, for Colossus. I ordered um, some rims. I ordered 15 inch rims. Now the truck has 15 inch rims on it, but they're old school, like Dukes of Hazard looking style. Um, I really don't like them. But the tires on truck are almost, you know, practically brand new because I never drove the truck. As soon as I got it, I really never did drive it. So I did want to buy like new rims and tires because I do want to go with you know maybe like twenties with uh, you know a wider offset. So later on I am going to do that, but right now it was only like three hundred dollars for a set of four uh, fifteen inch uh, rims, and it looked good because it kind of got like the fake big loss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them off and actually paint around purple to kind of match the truck. Um, so we'll have like new style rims on, and I'll, I'll, I'll run these rims and tires um, over the winter time, and then. Uh, beginning of summer, I'm wanting to get uh, rims for uh, Super Ram and for Colossus. All right, and so um, the reason why, like, we haven't really had the garage floor poured and <clears throat> everything done with the garage um, is because we are, we are, are having a <laughs> we're having a house built. And kind of when you have a house built, like all your resources and everything go toward that right now. So that's kind of why I haven't had the garage floor um, concrete or anything. But in the next couple months, I do hope to have it um, concrete and everything and all that fixed. But we are having a house built, so I'm really excited that it's gonna be, a, you know, first brand new house actually, you know, built to air liking and everything. But uh, I'm really happy over that. So that's kind of why the garage was kind of put on hold because we gotta have somewhere to live. So. Luckily, it's going to be built almost uh, right beside my shop, but way up in the field. So we're going to be really close, so I can walk out and be at my shop. And of course, the house is going to have a garage on it too, because you can never have too many garages. All right, so we are back. Um, took a little bit longer than I expected, so now it's a little bit evening. So um, hopefully, we can throw it together. Uh, we went to Royal, uh, Royal King, and I went by, and you know, it's getting fall and everything. We found sand and pine combs. I love these things. I'm gonna stash them in my shop. So when I open the door, hopefully it smells like sand and pine combs. Oh yeah. And apparently while I put a razor together, she is knitting. What arm knitting? What is this? <laughs> what is that? Well, okay, so I'm gonna do some cool stuff, put a razor together, and she's I'll gonna judge you. She's gonna knit a uh really you're stepping on it like a really long Rapunzel, let down your knitted. I gotta make me some hair or something. <laughs> <laughs> She's like going ham on that rope knotting thing. No. Come on, help me. I need help. <laughs> I hear somebody. I hear people. Well, your chair is right away. Good job. Good. Oh, look, you're. Shut your rings are falling and your, your rope. 
If I get stuck in a mud hole, we can use the rope. <laughs> it can be the chain link. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up and we'll sit down on there. A lot of America going on here. Oh, all right, let's get it We must have found like a gas. Oh, ready. Oh, yeah. All right, so what I forgot to do is um, I forgot to put these brackets. Now, we put these brackets, they need to go under here. Well, I guess we can put them at the top of here. And um, I just got to take the two bolts. I'll put this on and put all of it together. Um, this will actually hold part of the bed on. It just secures, I guess, the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and re remove these. Good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side, and uh, we should be able to put the bed back on. I... All right. After some persuading, I got it in. The only problem we had was it's where my antenna, my whip lights are. I had to get that over that, but everything lines up now, so we're good. So let's go ahead and put some bolts in. Alright, so I went ahead and I bought the lights. Um, the lights that went into the razor are these. Um, on the back it has um, CEC 3157. I went ahead and got 3157. Now I know they're not going to be the exact same bulb, but they should work. I mean, these are actually what I use in my Dodge. I think these are the ones I use in my Dodge for my tail lights. Um, in reverse lights I think so that's not bad but I did get one so we're going to replace both because last time the one blew because we had it sitting on the uh, it was leaning against the exhaust when we started up sat there and started tanging and rattled and it I guess it broke kind of like the filament inside so this one's good so I'm gonna keep this I'm just gonna go ahead and replace both so both will be brand new and it's just easy simple we'll just put it in there and we should be good to go Oh, I think she likes the super rim. <laughs> like that Dodge, don't you? I like the Chevy better. You like the Chevy better? Well, I knew something was always wrong with you. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and change the oil real quick and then we're going to start it drive around the field some then we'll check all the fluids make sure everything's good and after that we're going to take it out the road and we might take it downtown because hopefully I got fuel on the gas can because if not we're going to be running on fumes So we headed outside, I changed the oil, um, and it's torn around, of course. 
want to back in here stuff because I've got to put this, uh, it's a metal bracket that goes behind the seat. And then this piece right here has like a little, I guess it's kind of like a heat shield and it almost does like a sound deadening. Put that on, put the seats on, it should be good because it still sounds loud, but we are listening to that. Um, I put all the hoses and stuff that came on the bed back on, so we should be good to go. Um, hopefully, and if it lights up, if it quits raining, hopefully it lightens up a little bit. We'll take it around the field a couple times. That's good. Then we're going to take it and we're going to haul it to uh, town. Well, not haul it, but we're going to be in it, hauling it to town uh, to get some fuel and stuff and see how it does. But we're going to take it easy. I'm not going to run it really hard or anything uh, because, you know, we did just put new rings or thing. I'm just going to try to break it in, and you know, for the next couple of days and we'll ride it. Hopefully it won't rain. But I think this week it's actually supposed to clear up. So hopefully we get some riding in because I've... This thing's set more this summer than I've gotten to ride, and I hate that. But I want to go ahead and finish this up, and hopefully it quits raining. Sounds like it's quitting, hopefully, please. Alright, so we got everything done. I got the seat and everything put back. Uh, somebody said I should pressure wash and everything. As soon as I find out everything's running right, I'm going to clean it really good. And uh, I'm going to order me some uh, uh, Rhino liner to Rhino line the doors. And all that good stuff, um, and keep you know, clean up even more. But it is running, it's going good. We just fired it up, I think it's been running maybe not even a minute yet. But these wires right here, these are uh, my rock lights, but I haven't ran them yet. I just <laughs> tied them up there, and I don't have my whip lights or anything hooked up yet. I just wanted to make sure that that thing ran, so we're going to drive around the field a couple times, and if it does good, we're going to take the town. Woo! Bright lights! How you find? So it is nighttime now. It seems like as soon as we backed out of the garage, went out, tried it, and went to town, which doesn't take a total of what, like three minutes. Three minutes. It's already pitch black and everything. But we did stop and get gas. Full tank. It seems like everything. It seems like it's staying good. Um, hasn't went over like 200 or anything like that. So I think we're really good there. Um, it seems like it does have power and everything. Like I said, I'm not really running it that bad. Um, I know we was probably running about 50, 55, and speedometer was like at 30 to 40 miles an hour. So the speedometer is definitely way off. So uh, one day I want to ask one of the uh, local cops if they uh, clock me and I will be at like 20 miles an hour and see how bad it is because it's off really bad. Because I, I know we was doing more than like 30 to 40 miles an hour. Um, but we're going to go ahead and head back to the house and uh, she's going to film a little footage of us going. So let's go.
guys, we are coming to the end to, of today. The razor is back together. Um, the only thing I have to do is put my bumper on and run all my lights through my rock lights and whip lights, which shouldn't take maybe 30 minutes most. It takes longer just hiding all the wires and everything. Um, but it's ready to go. Um, it didn't smoke or anything. We checked all the, level, the flow levels and everything, and everything's good, even after we rode it. Um, so it's, it's ready to go. It's not smoking. Um, seemed like we had power. Like I said, I'm going to ride for about maybe a week or so, and then we'll change the oil in it again. Um, that way, if there's anything in the oil, then we'll see it. And I know that we have fresh oil in it. But uh, hopefully this weekend we get to go riding. Um, I know a couple people's off, and my girlfriend's off and everything, so hopefully we get to at least do some trail riding and hit a mud hole one or two. I I'm itching. I'm itching now to put in some mud. But like I said, uh, what's left is I got to ride in a lot of the doors because they are peeling and everything. Uh, put a winch on it and do a snorkel kit. And basically we're done. Um, until I decide to put the high clearance uh, arms and everything on it. Um, but we're done so far. I just got to order some more stuff, but that'll be later on. Anyways, guys, um, tomorrow I actually, if everything goes right tomorrow, I'm going to go pick up a set of 35 uh, inch tires, uh, mud grapplers for uh, the super rim and I've got two 20 inch rims I gotta order two more uh, they were just the stock Dodge rims that I'm gonna run on the super rim um, so hopefully I get to go get those tomorrow um, but anyways hope everybody's having a great night this is Ghost and I'm out of here